video and show you guys my wood stove. Just tighten everything up here. Okay. So This is what I slept in last night. As you can see, it's a Kodiak canvas swag tent. Apparently Australian design. So uh, I wanted to show the inside of the swag tent. I've got a little... Uh, you call uh, candle lantern uh, hanging in there and it actually heats this place up pretty good so you can see uh, there's my feet yeah. plenty of space and uh, and that's plenty uh, far from the top so nothing there's no risk of fire or anything um, I'll show you I don't know if you can see this is my head area there's vents all around yeah and I'm just going to watch a bit of Ken Burns, Mark Twain, and then go to sleep. Yep. Good night. And surprisingly, it works quite well in the cold. It was about minus 18, so... Here's the Eskers 10 by 10 classic. Stove's going, lovely stove. And this is why I'm gonna have to move the tent. You can see this tree here. up and into the woods and it's actually pressing on this tree okay wait well now I lost my Yeah, so it's actually pressing on that tree there. You can see how that's bending. And if you get in line with this tree, that's exactly where it's going to fall. So, even though it's a good spot, I'm going to have to move it. Anyway, I'll show you the inside. There's my little stove. Ooh. It is very warm in here. And that stove, I love it. Anyway, that's the tent. I was going to sleep here, but now i got to move this, so I'll have to sleep in another spot. Anyway, that's it for now.
Hey guys, just setting up my G stove. If you haven't heard about these, I think you should check them out. It's probably the best wood stove for a hot tent I've seen yet. Now granted there are many uh, variations, but uh, I think the, the big thing with this one is it um, is all stainless steel and it's a it's a heavy stainless steel. Uh, I mean the tin stoves are nice but they wear out eventually. Uh, I'm just putting on the tent protector here. Just uh, it's an extra large pipe to go over the flue pipe. That protects the tent material from burning. And again, it's all stainless steel. Um, a couple of things caught my eye with these uh, G stoves. And the number one thing was the price. You spend roughly the same money for one of these tin stoves as you do for one of these. Um, and these things are made in Norway. Uh, build quality. I can't see why... Yeah, I can't see how anyone would find anything wrong with it. Build quality is fantastic. So we don't burn the tent. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got a Bitburger beer here. Okay, let's get this baby going. Yeah, I was always in the market for a, a great wood stove. And uh, I came across this thing. Um, uh, I've seen it in a clip on a video. I can't remember what video it was. But then a few weeks later, I seen TA Outdoors use one. And... I, you really got an eyeful on uh, the quality of the stove and how well it burned wood. And it's just how easy it is to cook on. Comes with a lot of attachments. As you can see, there's an oven up here. It's not huge by any stretch of the imagination, but then again, how many other wood stoves actually have an oven in it? Now, hopefully, this catches. And 
And what am I going to light it with? Well, let's see what I got in my little bag of tricks here. So I'm using a <coughs> little peanut lighter. Uh, a numph, I think it's called. It's a fluid lighter. I like them. They uh, and this thing seals. So as long as you. Uh, sitting here in the Esker's tent. A 10 by 10 and enjoying a beer. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about the tent, actually. Uh, simple design, uh, simple setup. You peg four corners, you put the center post up. Uh, and then you tie out the the edge of it to give yourself some space. Um, it's a functional shelter for winter camping. Yeah, uh, I'd really be interested to see how much of a storm this thing could uh, survive. Um, I got my doubts. Um, I mean. I guess it would do okay as long as you tie it out well. Oh, I 
Okay, so you just seen me uh, set up the Z-Pax duplex tent. It's a Cuban fiber, very lightweight tent. Um, it's probably the lightest thing in my backpack. And uh, it's got the Dyneema lines with it to show you inside. So it's got a fly mesh all the way around. And this is really a two-handed thing, but let's give it a shot. Yeah. two people actually but uh, I have it just as a solo uh, and it's got a nice little vestibule you can put your boots and stuff anything you want here anything wet um, bathtub floor I just put the cheap blue tarp down to protect the bottom from uh, the deer urine and uh, the tree sap and everything. Uh, try and keep the tent as clean as possible for as long as possible. It'll, uh, you'll get the most out of it. Uh, but in the summertime, uh, this thing vents like no, no other tent. Um, as you can see, you can, you can actually set that, the edge of the tent, high or as low as you want to get as much uh, air moving as you want. Now it is a single wall tent, so you are gonna get condensation. But uh, probably not as much as other tents. And it's fairly windproof, uh, although if you get driving rain, it can go underneath. But you just set the tent a bit lower to try and combat that. And you pick your spots wisely. Uh, it's got a toggle to keep that open. And you can see down there it's tied off. Neat little clip. It's on the other side. So on those really hot muggy nights you can just leave uh, both sides open and both this and that will open and you can roll it up. But uh, you leave both sides open and uh, you'll just get the cross breeze. It's a very good tent. Although they are pricey, there's no getting around that. Yeah, this is really a two-handed operation. Okay. I'm making this look a lot harder than it is. See if I can do this again with one hand. But for a lightweight tent, I don't know if they've, uh, if anyone's made better yet. Okay, I'm gonna have to use both hands. Fantastic little tent, and uh, it only sets up with two poles. And uh, I mean, if you wanted, you could use your hiking poles, or you could even just cut two sticks 
from uh, the bush. But uh, these carbon fiber poles that you see here, they weigh nothing. I mean, I don't even think, out. I don't even think ounces comes into it, just grams. Uh, yeah. That's the Z packs. Very good tent. Yeah. If you're in the market for a light, uh, very light tent, you should check them out. Um, got nothing uh, bad to say about them. Uh, although they are a bit pricey, that's about the only knock. But uh, I guess the old adage, you get what you pay for, uh, rings true. Anyway, that's the Z-Pax duplex tent. <laughs>